Thank you, Ainsley. Well, this Easter, hundreds of thousands of Iraqis are celebrating the joyous holiday. But did you know there is an increasing number of Muslims converting to Christianity in Iraq? What's behind this trend? Well, let's ask the president of the Joshua Fund and author of Dead Heat, Joel Rosenberg. He is a best-selling author and an evangelical Christian. He has traveled extensively throughout Iraq. In fact, he just got back from there uh, not too long ago. Sir, good morning. Good morning. Happy Easter. Happy Easter to you. Let's talk first about Christians in Iraq. It's a dangerous place, as we all know. We saw a bishop murdered, uh, the Bishop of Mosul, not very long ago. How difficult right now is it to be a practicing Christian inside Iraq? It's extremely difficult, uh, Greg. You've got uh, you know all kinds of violence that everyone else is dealing with, and then you have the fact that radical Islamic jihadists hate. Uh, the concept of somebody becoming a follower of Jesus Christ. Now you've got about three quarters of a million uh, historic Christian uh, uh, Christians in the country, uh, meaning uh, Catholic Chaldean Christians, but you also now have this trend where more Iraqi Muslims are, are becoming Christians, followers of Jesus Christ, converting over the last 15 years and at any other time in the history of Iraq. And why is that happening? Because right now, as you mentioned, it's a very difficult time to be a Christian in Iraq, yet we're seeing, I think the estimate is some 20,000 former Muslims uh, have made this conversion. Why? 20,000 have become uh, Muslims have become Christians in Iraq just over the last uh, three or four, or five years, actually, since liberation. Uh, 70,000 since the first Gulf War. Why? In part, uh, after nine days of being in Iraq, meeting with 19 uh, Christian pastors, they tell me so many Muslims are watching radical Muslims kill Muslims. There's a real conscience of crisis, a crisis of conscience going on right now, where Muslims are thinking, "Is that us?" Uh, you got these uh, jihad leaders preaching the Quran and saying we're supposed to kill other Muslims. And Muslims are, are, are getting uh, uh, anxious about this. They're, they're saying this is not us, this is not who we want to be. Some of them yeah. are becoming agnostic. Mm -hmm. Some of them are converting to Christianity. Joel, real quick, how much of a danger, though, is there uh, that there could be a backlash to some of this? As you know, there's suspicions uh, in Iraq about the United States, about our intentions. Uh, some have written on the Internet over there, and there are a lot of folks who believe this there. I'm not saying they're right, but they believe this, that there is a religious component to what we're doing, that we're trying to explore Christianity. Is there the danger, based on your travels, of a backlash? No, one of the things that's fascinating to me as I, we travel for the Joshua Fund doing humanitarian relief work, meeting with Iraqi pastors, that's the key. It's Iraqis leading Iraqis to Christ. We met with former Muslim terrorists, Sunni terrorists, who've uh, seen visions of Jesus Christ and are now pastors and preachers, very similar to the Apostle Paul as a religious murderous zealot before his conversion, had a vision on the road to Damascus, became a Christian. So it's not a Western missionary influence, although there are Western missionaries there. This is an indigenous movement, and it's not just in Iraq. We've seen more than a million Shiite Muslims uh, come to Christ in Iran over the last 30 years. Uh, more than 5 million Sudanese have become Christians over the last 15 years. Something is happening in the Middle East that the mainstream media is not reporting, a Muslim conversion en masse to Christianity. We'll keep our eye on it. Joel Rosenberg, uh, uh, best-selling author and president of the Joshua Fund. Good to see you this morning. Happy Easter. Happy Easter.